Hi Aquarius, it's Zahara Stars with Loom Astrology and Tarot doing your full moon in Aquarius, August 2nd reading. It's a very special moon, Aquarius, because it's the full moon in your sign. So I wanted to do a specific reading for this. Now this reading will be valid from the start until the next 28 days um, after on and after the full moon. Um, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best, as always. Um, I'm having a little bit of a wobbly thing going on here. Oops, adjustments, adjustments. All right, so um, thank you for joining me and Romeo. Uh, here sending you all the best for this full moon in Aquarius. Um, please keep in mind that they're general and also to listen to your rising or your moon sign for your messages may be there instead. All right. Please give me the most accurate messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the full moon in Aquarius. there's going to be a fork in the road which often indicates a decision that needs to be made but it's also choices and options so something is going to come through and present you with some options or you'll have to make a choice regarding which direction you're going to go depending upon where um aquarius is Aquarius is in your chart will probably depict more of where this will come about each house represents a particular area in our life so wherever Aquarius is for you for instance if it's in your second house of money this choice could present itself with different job opportunities or you may need to move for this job or you may or if it's your house of home um, it could present you with options regarding your home and so on depending upon which house, for those of you familiar with astrology, but I will clarify. But because they're general, it's important to say that, okay? What else do we have for Aquarius? Full moon for Aquarius at this full moon. So we got the tribe, which is awesome because this is about getting together with people of like minds or people that are friendships, groups, association, networks. Some of you may be having new developments open up as a result of this full moon in areas of friends, groups, or associations. But typically this card means that you're with like minds or people that are value you so it can expand that area okay or there's a start or an illumination or news coming through regarding some close friends associates groups whatever however it resonates with you okay like i said that would be most likely the 11th house for some of you guys but it's aquarius is that sign is that sign of that group so it's pretty much for everyone what else do we have for Aquarius, please? Meeting people of like minds and building, building associations, closer relationships, okay? And then we got chop wood, which is having to get to work on something or having to clean out something. Or maybe some of you will be cleaning out some things after this full moon. It's going to bring to illumination the areas in which you need to get rid of stuff. Now, full moons are good for endings and clearing out anything. So setting intentions is a good idea as far as what you want to release. Okay, so you can choose to say, I want to release negative thinking, <laughs> which is a good one. Or I want to release all those people in my life that are no longer working for my highest good. Cleaning it up, okay, or chopping wood, same sort of thing to me. It's kind of like getting to work on clearing the clutter getting to work on finishing projects whatever it's going to be there's something that you're going to want to just get chopping on what else do we have for aquarius 
Some of you, it's regarding health and fitness. You're going to want to start a new regime on that. Some of you, it's just getting organized. And some of you, it's getting rid of... It doesn't matter. It's going to be different for all of you, okay? But getting rid of stuff. Now you're going to be getting a leg up. There's some new news or great news coming through as a result of this full moon in your sign, which is an opportunity to make a lateral move up. It's an opportunity regardless if it's getting a raise and pay, whether it's somebody letting you move in with them, whether it's uh, getting a car, whatever is going to help leverage you or get you up to where you need to go. You're getting a leg up. This could be from the universe, from divine. It could also be from a friend, a family member. It doesn't matter how it's going to come through. It's going to be different for all of you, okay? But you are getting a leg up as a result of this full moon. And this is getting a helping hand from the universe, something that's going to help you get to the next level, especially being in your own moon sign. Somebody's going to help carry you to the next level or take you, bring you, help you in some way that's going to help you that's going to help you be your highest version of yourself or better okay some of you it's a partner a relationship a business partner or something like that others of you it could be any other way what else do we have for Aquarius All right, so now we have, to be fair, there's definitely some situation in your life that you felt like was unfair or you didn't get the rewards for some good deed or you didn't get something was unjust. There's the balancing of the scales going on here saying that something is going to be made right that went wrong or you're going to get rewards for some good deed that you've done. Some of you that are involved in a court case, this is a positive sign that it's going to work out in your favor. Um, it's, it's the balancing of the scale. So this full moon is going to bring about, um, blessings for deeds that have been done. Or if something was unjust, it's going to be made right. What else do we have for this full moon in Aquarius? We have a message in the bottle. Some of you are going to be getting communication. Sorry, I got to block out Romeo. Sorry, the light over here is getting in the way. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, okay. I'll show you the card. So some of you are going to be getting a long-awaited message. Some of you, this is regarding a work opportunity. Some of you, this is a past love interest. Some of you, this could be a friend, a family member from the past or somebody that you had a falling out with. It's something that you really have been waiting for a while, typically. Okay, it's, it's, it's something that's had, somebody that had great difficulty coming to you and saying this or somebody who Somebody who, who you were hoping to hear from but haven't. It's somebody that's been missing in action or someone that it's been a long time coming. Okay. I'm going to get one more and then we're going to clarify further. Can you tell me more for Aquarius and this full moon? All right, so we have something that has been a never-ending story. <laughs> something that you feel like has been repeating itself, okay? Some of you are like, is this ever going to change? Um, not this again, or something that has been going on and on and on and on and on, okay? Okay. 
and we got TikTok, a sense of urgency or time's up or here you have it as the final card. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. I feel like there's gonna be a conclusion to this never ending story. Definitely since it's a full moon in Aquarius, it's an ending. It's letting go of, it's an ending, closing out. So those of you that wanna use this full moon energy to rid yourself of something, you can definitely speak that out. But let's just take a look and see. Can you clarify what's going on here, please, for Aquarius? Tell me about the fork in the road. Again, the general meetings over all of what I said about these cards are active and in play. You gotta take it how it resonates with your situation. Clarifying the fork in the road, we got the two of swords. Only to say that this decision is going to be a little bit difficult to make. Okay, choosing the right path is gonna be important or you're gonna feel like it's a difficult decision or a choice that you gotta make between two roads, but this one has four, okay? I feel like some of you already know what this choice is, but the full moon is gonna bring it to completion and you're gonna make the choice. Um, some of you feel like you don't have all the details yet. You're trying to make a choice between, some of you are trying to make a choice between people. As far as a relationship is concerned, it is Venus retrograde, it wouldn't be surprising. Some of you are trying to do that. Some of you are trying to decide where you wanna live, where you wanna go. And maybe, yeah, some of you are, are trying to make a choice about leaving something, something you've been emotionally invested in. Now this could be a, a relationship, like I said, a home. Um, you're, you're really seeking something new and better here. You're seeking the pie in the sky, literally. You're, you're like, you're actively seeking to make a change. And some of you are not sure about this, okay? But the full moon's gonna give you the answers, okay? It's gonna give you the answers. Some of you, it's a relationship, like I said, making a choice about whether or not to go move with somebody, go somewhere, choose that person, move into a new place, take another job. It's gonna be different for all of you, but it looks like it's difficult because you've been emotionally invested. And it's been your comfort zone for some of you. And it's like you're being pushed out of your comfort zone, perhaps. All right, let's take a look and see what the tribe is all about. I already, believe that a lot of you are going to start establishing a new group of friends or extending your group of friends and social networks regardless of how that is you're going to be meeting people that are in alignment with you and that's the clear message i'm getting so you're going to be expanding meeting people that that are going to be your best buddies your best friends not that you don't already have any i'm just saying finding people that are on the same path as you and your particular thing that's gonna help you, okay? So we got the Queen of Cups on that. And I feel like some of you are going to meet a water sign person, could be masculine or feminine, that you're just gonna really jive with, okay, after this full moon. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or you're going to get connected with this person and they're going to help connect you, okay? Clearly. Now, this could be a romantic interest for some of you. Some of you, it's just a person that is on the same path as you and they're gonna help you start something, a new creative endeavor, or take that leap of faith. And some of you, you're gonna meet this person, or if you've already met this person, you're going to start something with this person and you guys just get along famously. And you're gonna be working together towards something or it's a new passionate start with this person. Now again, it's gonna be different for all of you. You're all not involved with the same person in the same situation, thank God. <laughs> so please take it as it resonates for your situation. But some of you are going to be starting something new with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
Some of you, it could be with a friend, a group of people, but this person introduces you to them, or you just meet them and you guys are of the same tribe, okay? And you're starting something together, whether it's a love relationship, a business relationship, or whatever. Tell me about the chop wood. So we got the high priestess, and this is about hidden knowledge, secrets, esoteric matters, understanding um, complex concepts, initiations into higher learnings, okay? Some of you are gonna be really getting to work on expanding your consciousness, okay? Expanding your hidden knowledge, really starting to dig in, really starting to expand that some of you might be studying more into astrology, into tarot, into esoteric matters, into spirituality, into manifestation. You're going to start making some breakthroughs and some headway coming through, which is amazing because it is your full moon in Aquarius, the sign of the future. <laughs> and the high priestess is all about uncovering hidden things so some of you are going to uncover something understand something in a greater i just some of you are going to get clarity on something that is going to help you okay and you're going to start implementing it and putting it to work in everyday life like it's it's some knowledge that you've been gaining working on expanding and you're it's time to start using it Clearly what I got, like if you've been studying the law of manifestation and creation, it's time to, it's time to put it to work. <laughs> it's time to literally put it to work. If you've been studying any type of esoteric matters or, or astrology or tarot or any of that stuff, it's time for you to put it to work. It's time for you to put to, you've been through a lot of transitions and you went through the whole Saturn tough teacher phase. So you're to take this knowledge and to start implementing it, start putting it to work. Okay. Start putting to work, I just got your hidden desires, your things that you haven't been letting out to the world as well for some of you, your hidden talents. Tell me more about this leg up for Aquarius. Yeah, something's coming together in a big way with the fairy alt here, okay? With this leg up. Somebody's going to help you put together all the pieces to something. Now, this is also the card of healing, but it's also the card of alchemy. Putting together everything to make your magic potion. So this leg up is going to help you put together your whatever project you're working on, Whatever your ideal goal is, whatever it is you've been trying to create, this is a opportunity that's going to be given to you. And it, like I said, it, it's it, there's no way I could tell you specifically because there's a lot of you and it's all different. It could come through somebody going, hey, I want to invest in your business or hey, I want to buy whatever it's going to be. It's going to help you get up to the next level, but it's going to be a missing piece to something you've been trying to put together. Or for some of you, it's... Let me double clarify it because it's like... Um, it's, it's, it's the magic piece to the puzzle. It's, it's somebody has something or has advice or knowledge or wisdom or money or whatever it's going to be they are going to whatever they're going to give you is going to help you move up okay that's the best i can put it in a general reading and it's literally going to help you okay This opportunity that's going to be presented to you 
is gonna put you on a whole new playing ground here. <laughs> to where you're gonna literally understand so much. It's like the, the, the full moon of, of in this in Aquarius is going to allow you to perceive things in a different way thereafter in a sense producing a new you or a new perspective and it's something that's going to really give you this leg up that you need okay that's a really magical thing going on there okay i, I can't go in into the greatest detail about it because it's it's different for all of you but it's it's like it's like the missing piece of something that's gonna help you go uh, look through the, at the world through a whole new set of eyes almost as if you're reborn literally okay and, and again it's gonna be different for all of you but it's what you need to get to this next level this leg up, leg up regardless of how it comes across to you whether it's through somebody helping you level you up or in some way or it's a spiritual thing or it's an enlightened thing or you finally get clarity on something that you need or you finally piece it together your story okay whatever it is it's big it's big okay wow wow okay so tell me about this to be fair Some blessing is coming to you, okay, with the Nine of Cups. It's a wish fulfillment that is coming as a result of some injustice or something that wasn't, some, this is coming to you, like the way, this, the, the weighing of the scales, it's like Aquarius, here's your reward. It's a big blessing coming through where you're gonna have everything that you need. It's a wish fulfillment. It's a hope and a wish fulfillment. It's a blessing, it's having, emotional happiness financial happiness the whole nine yards the best i'm going to put it it's going to be different for all of you is it's a blessing of the scales being weighed and things going finally back you maybe gave this much okay and you got and and you or you gave this much and you got nothing here and then all of a sudden it's like okay here goes yours okay it's literally that and i'm getting that fully it's a blessing Wow, this is intense. This is amazing. Okay, so let's check out this message in the bottle for Aquarius. Oh, you got an emotional expression of love. Someone's going to tell you how they feel about you or it's going to be different for all of you again because For some of you, this is a family member that you've been wanting to hear from. From some of you, this is a love interest that you've been waiting to hear from. But it's really good news and it's going to make you feel really good and it's going to make you feel loved and it's going to be positive. Somebody that you've been waiting for, for a while... is coming in rather quickly after this full moon to express their feelings and their emotions for you. Some of you could be a younger water sign, could be a younger fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. It's like they're charging in just to be like, to express how they feel. Now, this is somebody that you've been waiting a while for, okay? And it's something that was difficult for them to do or it was difficult, it was, been a long time coming. Some of you could be a younger earth sign. Some of you, it could be. But they want to start something solid with you or they want to begin something new with you. But what I'm also getting is some of you, it could be a long-awaited job offer just because it showed up with this as well. Um, but it's an emotional expression, a call you've been waiting for that's going to come in quite 
quickly, for some of you, it's an opportunity to start something together, whether it's financially or a relationship. Tell me more specifically. Some of you, it's a younger water sign. Some of you, a younger fire sign. Some of you, a younger earth sign. But it doesn't have to be younger. It just depends on your age. It also could be immature. But no, they're coming in quite strongly. They, 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 this is something, some of you, it could be a cancer. Some of you, this person is traveling to you. They're going to contact you. They're going to express their feelings. They're going to be willing to travel to you. It's something really positive. It's a great success. Tell me more. It's a great success. It's, it's a major, major, major triumph card. Okay, the chariot. They either, they got themselves together. They're in control now. They're coming. Some of you, it's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or they're coming to bring you stability. This, this call or this opportunity is going to put you into financial stability and comfort. Okay? And yeah, it's going to be a lot of communication back and forth, but also traveling to you. Some of you, it's going to be communication back and forth first after this long-awaited call, making plans, traveling together, or going somewhere together, or starting something new regardless, and it's big. It's big. It's a big, st stable start. Some of you, it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, but it's general, so you got to understand. It could be a Cancer. It could be any sign, really. I feel like for some of you, it's literally something that's going to move you up to the next level and it's something you've been waiting a long time for. And this person, literally, it's been something that you've been having sleepless nights over. It's been a stress situation, not hearing from this person or whatever the situation was, if it was a job, if it was, it's just different for all of you, okay? But... It was something that you were really, really hoping for. Some of you, it's a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, sun, moon, or rising. But this person's quite passionate. Yeah, and it's going to be a celebration. There's a celebration coming in as a result of this, okay? Okay. And then we got the Empress at the bottom, which is you feeling abundant and having everything that you need or want, like overindulgence. Uh, it's like a big celebration. That's all I'm going to go into that. And you can check out my love relation or my uh, person of interest reading to see if there's something more specific there. But that's what I have going on with that. Um, I want to try to keep this reading down a little bit. Let's check out this never-ending story. What's going on with this never-ending story for Aquarius on the full moon in Aquarius? It's the ending of that cycle, like I said. I was like, I feel like this never-ending story is ending. Okay, it's the end of the cycle of that never-ending story. Things are now moving forward. Literally, whatever that is to you, if you feel like, oh my God, is this going to ever stop? It's just going to keep going on and on and on. It's the ending of that cycle of the never ending story. Okay. No more repetition. No more going through the same thing. No more dealing with the same difficult situations. None of that anymore. It's the end and you're starting a new one and you're going to be in much more balance. Tell me about this TikTok, please. Some of you, it's regarding a new start of some type. Ooh. You're going to get communication. You're going to have to go somewhere or you're going to have to do something. Or some of you, it's a new job opportunity that's going to call. And you got to hurry up and make a decision 
or hurry up and go. Some of you have a situation with a younger Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, younger Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that is going to require some urgency. But it looks like a new message regarding, wow, taking action and moving forward on something. And clearly, with the Princess of Wands, it's starting something. These are both budding opportunities. Communication coming in regarding something that you could start. Could be financial. Could be passionate. You're going to have to make a quick decision. Okay? You're going to have to make a quick decision. And it could be regarding something you've been working on or putting a lot of effort into. That it's like, you got to hurry up and, and, and do it. Yeah, definitely something you've been working on. Okay? Or working together with somebody on. It's like, you're going to get a call to present it, get it going, start, move, take action. Okay? And some of you, it's regarding a love offer that regardless, they're going to work with you. They, it's, it's literally different for all of you here, but this is something that you're going to have to make a quick decision. And it could go back to that fork in the road or which decision you're going to make regarding different love interests. Like I said, it's going to be different for all of you, okay? So take it how it resonates. All right, let's just get an overall overview card for Aquarius. What is the theme going to be or what is of importance for Aquarius for this full moon in their sign? What advice? Cultivating prosperity. A lot of you are going to be really starting to see your prosperity, okay? We got making a difference, Aquarius. This is definitely your card. My inner light shines for the world. Making a difference, cultivating prosperity, the abundance of the universe is pouring into my life and manifesting dreams. Wow, you're manifesting dreams, you're cultivating your prosperity, all meanwhile, while you're making a difference, and it's gonna be even better if you believe in magic. You better believe it, I've seen it. Some people say you gotta see it to believe it. I believed it and then I saw it. All right, you guys, oh, I love this one, facing upward, flying free Aquarius, let go and have fun. One more, rising above, baby. Sorry, I can't stop myself. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below. I love to hear from you guys. I love you so much, sending you so much positive energy. For a personal reading, you can text me at 818-839-1116. Otherwise, until next time.